If you hire me, your league's going to break up. <laughs> Cincinnati hired me. I broke up the Big East. Absolute jinx. You can go ahead and get I just started, coached Coach. the last Pac-12 game ever, regular season. It's crazy. I thought about it. I didn't think about it all year until today when I realized we're the last game. It's craziness. It's so crazy. But anyway, um, our guys, uh, we're just, you know, we're so young and we're so fragile. Uh, Bobby did a good job of taking a dem away from us in the second half. Um, but, you know, when a dem got a second foul, the whole game changes. You know, we just, uh, I, I've never spent this much time yelling at guys to shoot. Literally taking Sebastian Mack out, you got to shoot the ball. Like, they're not going to let you drive. You got to shoot the ball. You got to shoot. I don't care if you miss. It's a hell of a deal when the coach says that to you. Pretty good deal now. Yeah. You know, you got to shoot the ball, man. It's not like you can't shoot. But, you know, young kid out there, a lot of people in the stands, it's, you know, it's not easy. Lazar and Dylan didn't have good nights. Um, you know, I watched some games today. It looked like a lot of teams were tired. Um, you know, Dylan, Dylan played a lot of minutes. In the last couple of weeks, he needs, a, he, he needs some rest for sure. But obviously, uh, really appreciate the crowd today um, for coming back and supporting us. And uh, the guy showed a lot of fortitude. Like I said, I told Sebastian Mack in there, man, anybody can make shots when you're up 20. The guy making shots when you're losing, that, show, you know, that, that shows me something. Anybody can make shots when your team's rolling. You know, you put a team in a game and then, then see if they make shots. So those were big, big buckets by him. Changed the whole game. But our passing improved. But we did pass it. We just weren't shooting the ball, Ben. We just weren't shooting it. What do you got? Um, you kind of covered this a bit, but just the pride they showed. You were down nine with, I think, nine and a half to go. Could have packed it in. And, and we started the game down nine. Yeah. I told you this, I've told you, you know, um, when you ask me the problem and who's resp responsible, it's me. They're good kids. Um, I'm trying to get stuff out of guys that they're probably not ready to give me yet, which is hard. Um, it's not their fault. Uh, it hasn't been their effort. It hasn't been their issue. It's their, their inexperience. And we don't have a junior, senior anchor. You know, like if Jalen Clark wouldn't have got hurt and say would have came back this year. Somebody like that. Like our Pella Larson type of guy. We just, you know. So we, we, we've been uh, battling that all year. It's just a fragile team. But I was really, obviously, I'd have liked to have got up 10 and Will not taking a bad three and uh, Burke shoot the open three. He passed one up. Built, Will took a bad one when the dem was wide open. He's just on a dunkathon. But we just, uh, we're still learning, man. I think you made five threes during that 19 to one run. So was, I, oh, I can tell you seven for 11 in the second half. So I, I will trust you on that. I think it was there. five during that run. Uh, just better passing, guys being willing to take the shot. You got to be willing to take it. You know, like you can sit there and say, well, you only have one assist. Well, if I pass you the ball and, you're, and you won't shoot, it's hard for me to get an assist. So just got to keep playing, keep grinding, keep digging, uh, which is what I preach to these guys. They left the door open for us with missed free throws. Um, but our deflections um, were dormant for a long time. Then they picked up on that run. We had a lot of – we had, I think – 10 deflections in the five minute, you know, that 19 to, to one run I asked in there. We had 10 deflections during that run. Still, still uh, not rebounding the ball. Other, you know, today, other than a dem, nobody really, Sebastian did, but we got to rebound the ball better. Now, Brandon's got a sprained ankle. Um, you know, Burke's going to be a good player, but you got to rebound when you're 6'9, man. Yeah, you might. Yeah, you, uh, start, you guys started uh, the second half one of 13, I believe, and then finished uh, eight of uh, 
13, 14, you know, Something was there, crazy. was there a switch that, that, that was flipped? Did, did you or I the guys say anything to I, each other? What I told you, it goes back to the winning six in a row. And, the, and then we struggled when the way the Utah game ended, like we are, we have been fragile all year because of our inexperience. <clears throat> I've had guys cry. I've, I've never, I've never seen that before. Um, so when I say that, it's so to your point with, you know, we got guys miss and then it's, they feel the pressure of the next shot instead of just playing. And it took forever for us to just start playing. I kept telling them, you got to quit worrying about the scoreboard. You got to worry about the deflection board and rebounding and shoot the ball, you know, but it's easier said than done in defense of them in this era. Arizona, we, we play a lot of teams that don't play a freshman, or if they do, they play one. So it's, you know, but it ends just that, like that run today is like a microcosm of our season. <laughs> Coach, uh, kind of talk to me That's about. very high tech. Thank you. Is I'm, that I'm, connected to the board and the? It's, it's Bluetooth. I'll, uh, I'll show you. I'll show you later. The anyway. whole arm thing. It's impressive. <laughs> talk to me about the final nine minutes. I had you guys down for holding them to five points over the last nine minutes of this game. I mean. Yeah, if, that if, that I was most impressed with. I know during the road you said the run was Ben. During that run, my staff told me our deflections, we had 10 deflections during that run. I don't know how many minutes that was. Um, <clears throat> but our defensive intensity changed the game. I used to uh, coach a guy like my younger brother, I love him dearly, he's getting ready to retire, Sean Kilpatrick. He scored over 2,000 points at Cincinnati. More, more than anybody but Oscar Robertson. And I used to have to tell him all the time, man, he was so hard on himself. You got to get lost in the game. Worry about defense. Worry about rebounding. Worry about sprinting up and down. Don't worry about where the ball goes in. You know, you're a scorer, you're going to have those types of flows. And that's what I've been fighting with our guys all year. And it just seems like if I miss, you feel the pressure on your shot because I missed. Like, we, it, we feel collective pressure. And I thought we finally just got uh, focused on our defensive effort, John, to answer it. And I think that's what changed things. That and we stopped fouling. Other than Dylan had an ill-advised, they said he grabbed a jersey. Coach, uh, start of the season against St. Francis, that was the lowest points you guys allowed this season. This was the second lowest you guys have allowed. Um, it's the only way we're going to win. That's just the way it is right now. Um, you know, I don't want to. Obviously, I, I, that's not what I want. But with this team, that's our reality. We have to defend to win. I mean, it's just the way we have to do it. Um, we're not beating anybody 85 to 80. So, um, really proud of their effort. I didn't know that till John. You said five points they scored in the last nine minutes. Yeah, because you were down 42 to 33. Yeah. Well, they're five for 22 in the second half. So once we stop, you know, you just don't foul. They weren't, make, you know, they weren't making shots. So there's so many things, guys, that go on in basketball games. Like Jalen Clark was here today. He was working out. He was at our shoot around. We were talking about like, you know, him his freshman year versus his junior year. I didn't have to say things to him. He saw them coming. That I had, but as a freshman or a sophomore, I got to point everything out. But his junior year. He saw everything before it happened. And that's, you know, like, so it's just been a hard year because I got to point everything out at all times to our guys. But down the stretch, I bring it up because we, as smart as we've played, Burke's helped defense. Um, we were trying to sag off Gaffney. He was struggling um, and clogged the lane up more for them so they didn't get it at the rim. So just, they were taking coaching and applying it better than we have, and that's what helped our defense. You have to play smart to give yourself a chance, you know. And Neil hit some really hard shots early, and say like I told Lazar, you can't worry about that. 
Don't we can't worry about that. What we can't do is is get up there fouling and giving guys layups. Guy hits a hard pull up, we don't care. I mean, we don't. It's like guys. It's not like I invented analytics, but teams can't win if that's all they take. But if you get beat and then they're, they they're kicking it out, shooting threes. That's what happened the last seven minutes of the first half to our defense. We kept getting beat. Bang three. You had a lot of like 100 alums here. Were they able to visit with the players at all? You had 100 uh, alums here. No, they were too busy partying. I think Doug had them. Doug had them partying up. Yeah, he had them partying up pretty good. So Jalen got to say I talked to all the guys today at shoot around. So Doug doesn't realize, Doug Erickson's my man, he doesn't realize how old he is. He went in the locker room and started telling the guys how he was with uh, Charles and Ed last night, O'Bannon. And I had to explain to him that our guys weren't born when they played. And he looked at me, I said, yeah. And I, then I told him he was in a lot better shape then, too. All right, guys.